Hi everyone and welcome to Season 2 Week 2 of the VRS GT Sprint Series at Sebring. Um, I've not enjoyed uh, my practice this week, I haven't really found any traction and my pace has generally blown off. Um, but hopefully this is the race that will turn that around, let's have a look. So here we are, we are car 13 and we managed to qualify P13 with a personal best. I've made some tweaks uh, to the setup, so using a high downforce setup to try and get everything a bit stable. Um, about to start the pace lap, so we'll come back right at the start. Pace car's about to come in, let's get ready. So big car 13 with P13 in qualifying. Frankly, <laughs> anything above that would be a plus. I've struggled with the VRS this week, so frankly not coming last and running on my own. The entire race will be a, okay, a benefit. Josh, here we go. Relatively respectful and clean start, I think. We've got someone on the outside there. Just need to check that they don't turn in on us. All right. Play right. Which they've not done. Good work. Okay, we just need to now not hit them. Which we also Car done. Right. Hold your line. Play right. On your right. Hold your line. Hold your line. So there's a car there still. still there. Don't ram me off the road, please. Still there. Still there. Clear right. Clear right. Oh, they lit up the rear tires there. I think we've done well to come through that unscathed. We've got a fairly busy looking BMW behind us. Just need to keep him there for now, I think. A little bit wider into that braking zone than I think I'd have liked. So pretty stable first three corners. Side to side with uh, Bernard Meyer. Yeah. Nice and clean. Makes it easier to get carried away on that first lap. In my experience, it's the second lap where carnage tends to go down as people take leave of their senses from the first lap, trying to keep it sensible, and then start sending it where they don't need to. So let's see what we can do here, see if we can keep this beam of behind. Right side. Right, I'm not going to fight right. you too hard into there, because I know I'm not strong there. You, behind though, can do one, absolutely. Ferrari behind. So Perez, chill out. This Ferrari is going to send it. Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. The leader has just done two oh one point three. There so we go. <laughs> so I should just keep it in there. So they decided just to send it anyway. We ran wide to avoid it. Managed to keep the overall speed. Oh, we've lost it. Okay, that's fine. No damage, that's important. He's got it too wide there. Lost the momentum, we're going to lose the place here. So we're going to just hold the line. Let this guy go. And I say, just don't have the pace. We're well off the pace compared to a lot of other people. The guy behind us looking pretty racy as well. And there's a pretty big gap after this. So this is the last of the main train, I would say. He's got that wrong. Not 100% sure how I saved that. Wow. I'll have a look at that after the race. Good lord. Oh my what? Clear right. 
Ah, uh, it's frustrating. The track temps increasing. It's now 23 Celsius. Well, gain time there. I'll absolutely take that. Gained a lot of time in the pits there. And we've got Nathan Button right behind. So, right, we're in a race now. Provided we don't do anything silly. There's an incident in Christensen. It looks like it's Button. Oh, guy behind has choked, apparently. See, <laughs> he's seen cars in front. So we've got roughly two laps left to try and get past Perez and ambitiously stay in front of Nathan. I think we're likely, or possible, we're going to swap places. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. So Nathan surely has got to go up the inside here. Nope. Right side. Hold your line. Cheeky to come across. I'll allow it, but it's robust. I'll tell him that. Right, can we get Paris? Is something going to happen here that's going to give us both? Or at least give us something? These two batting at least going to give us an opportunity on one of them. given us Perez as well. Great stuff. Followed him through. So thanks, Nathan. Oh, maybe it was Perez that punted us. Perez going to do it again if it was in fact Perez. Wait, what was that? We'll need to pit I don't even know where I am. Where am I? Is that the circuit? That's the circuit. <laughs> I have to get a slowdown for that. Oh man. Oh, right. oh, oh no, that's a. Uh, yeah, let's box. <laughs> Watch your speed. <laughs> Boxing, <310 laughs> oh man, that wasn't even comical. Oh, it was comical. That wasn't even. Wow. Wow. Probably gonna, yeah, 22 minute repairs. We're on a we're on a roof, um, and that is the perfect way to end my VRS GT Sprint week at Sebring. I think um, not been a good week, entirely epitomised by whatever that was. <laughs> so first up was actually quite good, quite clean, quite exciting. Everyone managed to keep it clean into turn one. We had a good battle with uh, I think it was the car behind us, Manu, was it? Uh, down into. Yes, ah, so it'll be this Mercedes. So we had a good battle with this Mercedes through these complex of corners, tried to keep it tight. They had a better run out of there and then down onto the long straight. Give them a bit of a squeeze, but nothing too bad. And then they just had a, a better run down here. After that, for the rest of the first lap, I think it was relatively clean and simple. So they're just able to get the brakes on and get the move done. Kind of position the car well, so fair play to them for that. And this was our first big incident where we lost control, so we just in too deep um, and whilst also trying to be on the brakes, just lost it really. Um, all of me, that one, that's driver error, that's one of the struggles I've been having all week with Sebring. 
um, and the VRS series. Uh, just struggling to kind of keep it, keep traction, really. Yeah, and <laughs> I think this is a Sebring Drift. So we come into this corner, and I think we just get it all sorts of sideways. I mean, if I'd have meant that, that would have been spectacular. <laughs> Then next we have the first of the contacts that we experienced through the race. So same corner, different car, uh, flashing the lights there, always a good sign, isn't it? Um, so he was there, they decided to just send it from a long way back. <laughs> just collected me into the braking zone. I don't know if I just brake early there, but yeah, just punted off. Not a lot I could do. So here we are on board from their perspective. So we'll see what they saw. So again, there's nothing that says to me here that you should be trying to outbreak anyone. Did he try to outbreak? Get a look. Oh, I think that's kind of a move. And then they just come across. Did well not to end up in the wall themselves there. And then the one we've all been waiting for. The final or penultimate lap as it was for me. It just spins me once. <laughs> and just gets fired. I just get fired away into the barrier. Still not 100% sure I've got to slow down for that, but. This is going to look scarily similar, isn't it? It's going to be deja vu. So running here. I know I lose a bit of time in here. So they're just going to run up behind. And just collect me once. And then collect me again. That's a very similar looking accident. And a final look looking back from the guy in front of us. And let's see what they saw. So the two of us behind with the last lap to go. It once. There we go. Unbelievable. Well, that went exactly as I was expecting it to. We didn't have any pace, we didn't have any grip, and that final punt at the end just kind of summarized exactly the kind of week I've been having here at Sebring. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please press subscribe, um, click on the bell icon, put a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Until next time, take care.